Hey and welcome to the Daily Man United News Show. Let's begin with our daily news. Flamingo perform a last minute transfer U turn to sign Manchester United midfielder Andreas Pereira. According to eSport, Manchester United have received a transfer blow in their bid to offload midfielder Andreas Pereira to Flamingo, with the Brazilian club set to pull out of their offer for the player. The 26-year-old has been playing for Flamingo since last summer when he secured a loan move away from United in a bid to play more first-team football after failing down the pecking order in Manchester due to the competition in the squad. The player earned his senior call-up to the Red Devils team three years ago. He could never establish himself in the side as he was loaned around Garnata, Valencia and Lazio in previous seasons for the English club. His stay at Old Trafford was set to come to an end in the upcoming transfer window as Flamingo were set to bid almost 9 million euros for him after club representatives Marcos Braz and Bruno Spendel from the Brazilian Giants flew to England in February to negotiate a deal. However, the Brasileiro side's legal issues with the central bank may now see them perform a transfer U-turn on Pereira. Flamingo president Rodolfo Landem is said to have pulled the cord on all incomings until the court case is concluded. Interestingly, Braz and Spendel were warned by other Flamingo officials that this investment would be risky although they still went ahead with it. Aside from the problems with the bank and the club, another season behind Pereira's proposed move to Flamingo on the spring of collapsing is because of his own lackluster performances in the last two months. With only 10 appearances under his belt this term, the United Loney has seen himself relegated to the bench in the last two months. Pereira was never able to establish himself in Manchester despite having the talent, but even while spending time with other clubs on loan, he has never been a regular starter for any side he has represented. Former defender Rio Ferdinand defends struggling Manchester United skipper Harry Maguire. Speaking on his Five with Five show on YouTube, Manchester United legend Rio Ferdinand took to the defense of defender Harry Maguire, saying that the current Red Devils skipper was not suited to the club's style of play. Maguire has been a constant target of criticism this season, with the Englishman failing to lead his side by example and turning out underwhelming performances on the pitch by committing schoolboy errors. In a turn of events this time, he has defended by Ferdinand. The former defender, who won a Champions League with Man United, said, In an England shirt, he's been nothing but phenomenal. He's been unreal. You can't say he's a dead player. He's been unbelievable for England. What I'm saying is, for England, he's been great, but they play a particular way of football that probably suits him. At the club level, Maguire has been woeful. The 29-year-old was able to lead his side to a second-place finish last season with some decent displays at the back, but has regressed in form and confidence this term. Ferdinand gave the example of Gerard Piquet by adding, Gerard Piquet was at Man United. You could argue that he might not have had the career that he has had at Barcelona if he stayed at Man United because of the way he plays. It's like boxing. Styles, make fights, it's the same in football. The way of Man United's football and the way that they are trying to play hasn't suited him. Ferdinand may have a point in his analysis, given that Maguire is playing in a back three for England while he forms one half of a centre back partnership in a back four for United. The styles of play are much different in both systems, and perhaps this is why the skipper suffers a dip in performance for his club. Whether this means that the new incoming manager may change the side's shape to accommodate a back 3 form next season to utilize Maguire's strength remains to be seen. For now, however, he will have to make to do with playing in a back 4 and trying to help United finish the season strongly. Ralf Ragnick warned Manchester United must secure European football by the end of the season. According to ESPN, Manchester United have informed entry manager Ralf Ragnick that a spot in Europe is necessary for the club by the end of the season, even if they miss out on qualifying for the Champions League. The German took over from Ole Gunnar Solskjaer last year, tasked with guiding the club back up to the Premier League table after Solskjaer's last few months at the club saw the side slip massively down the points tally. 
Thus far, the former RB Leipzig boss has seen his team reach the 7th place, sitting 6 points away from the hotly contested 4th place in the league table, which would provide an opportunity to qualify for the Champions League next term. While a 5th and 6th place finish this season would provide a pathway to play in the Europa League next campaign, a 7th place finish in the summer would ensure that the side is playing in the UEFA Conference League. Also, these are competitions that are played in Europe, they do not have the same prestige as the Champions League. Playing in UEFA competitions bring commercial revenue to the English giants, who earned much day revenues of £34.6 million, as reported in their latest quarterly results. Ragnik has been informed by the board that they would like the side to earn a chance to play in Europe next term, even if it's via the Europa League or UEFA Conference League. This requirement would negate the possibility that Ragnik could look to use the remaining games to rotate his squad and play youngsters from the academy given that a European spot is necessary for the club's finances and he's under pressure to deliver. Manchester United consider signing RB Leipzig star Christopher Nkunku after internal talks. According to Mark Berenbank via Florian Plettenberg of Sky Sport on Twitter, Manchester United are assessing their option to sign RB Leipzig star Christopher Nkunku as they have already held internal talks over a potential move. He has been in outrageous form this season and has been crucial for his side's race in the second half of this campaign. Man United have added Nkunku to their shortlist, which includes potential targets for the summer transfer window. They reached that decision after holding discussions over a prospective move. Ralf Ragnick is a keen admirer of his talents and his side is contemplating signing the attacker after this term. Surprisingly enough, it's claimed that the Red Devils are his tent to push forward for a summer transfer at this moment. That is because they feel like there are too many options in the attack which has prompted them to put a lid on their pursuit to sign the Frenchman for now. Nkunku has garnered a ridiculous 28 goals alongside 18 assists this season from 32 appearances across all competitions. That makes him one of the best attackers in Europe right now when it comes to raw statistics and bringing him to Old Trafford would be a real statement from our side. That being said, it would be wise to contact the new incoming manager this summer regarding their opinion on Nkunku. Eric Ten Hag is said to be the preferred option, so perhaps the Dutchman can be asked if he wants the Frenchman in his side or not. It's hard to imagine any manager saying no to a versatile, talented attacking player like Nkunku, who is in the prime years of his career, but Man United must understand that the manager should be handed the players he wants to manage and sees a part of their system. Man United need to make straight cash bid for Sergei Milinkovic-Savic. Manchester United need to make a straight cash offer to sign Lazio midfielder Milinkovic Savic this summer, La Lazio Siamo Noi reports. The Serbian has been a key player for the Serie A outfit over the past six and a half seasons, but could leave them at the end of the current campaign. The midfielder has just over two years remaining on his contract, and it has emerged that he has no plans of putting pen to paper on a new long term deal. Juventus are admirers of Milinkovic, but Lazio are unlikely to be entertained their proposal of a player plus cash deal for the 27-year-old this summer. As such, Manchester United and Paris Saint-Germain are deemed favourites to sign him, provided they are willing to make a cash offer on the region of 75 million euros. The price tag could be a big stumbling block for United particularly, if they are also looking at the option of pursuing a genuine holding midfielder. A new striker could also be a priority with Cristiano Ronaldo no longer in his prime. United may have to offload some players first to recoup funds for a spending spree. United were willing to spend 85 million euros to pursue Sancho from Borussia Dortmund last summer, but the fee is being paid in installments over a period of five years. It remains to be seen whether Lazio will accept a similar proposal, else Paris Saint-Germain may have the clear advantage as they have paid big sums outright previously. Man United reached verbal agreement with manager Eric Ten Hag. According to football journalist David Ornstein of The Athletic on Twitter, Manchester United have taken a significant step in their pursuit of appointing their next permanent manager, 
by reaching a verbal agreement with Ajax Amsterdam boss Eric Ten Hag. Ever since, the English side sacked Ole Gunnar Solskjaer last year after he held the team to a string of poor results that saw them drop down the Premier League table, the club have been on the hunt for someone to replace him as a permanent manager. They brought in Ralf Ragnik from Lokomotiv Moscow to act as the side's entry manager, appointed until the summer and tasked with cleaning up Sol's Jair's mess and leading the team up the league table. Thus far, the German has not been successful in doing so, with the team sitting 7th in the table. Ornstein has now revealed that the managerial hunt is finally about to end for the Manchester side, with Ten Hag and the club reaching a verbal agreement for the 52-year-old to take over from next season onwards. His current team Ajax are said to be aware of this development and will finalize an agreement from letting the Dutchman leave Holland and sign a contract for up to four years in England. However, an announcement regarding the same will not be made until the end of the Netherlands Cup final, where the Amsterdam side faces PSV Eidenhoven. Ten Hag could possibly lead Ajax to a domestic double by the end of the current campaign if he managed to beat PSV in the upcoming cup final, while also standing a good chance of winning the Eredivisie title as his side sit on the top of the league table. He is a serial winner in Holland. With the United taking one step closer to appointing Ten Hag as their new manager, it will be interesting to see how he fares in England, having never managed a senior squad outside of the Netherlands. The Ajax boss, if he does end up going through with his move to United, will need to dig deep and come to play with his best tactics to succeed. I will be uploading daily Man United news, so keep your eyes on the channel and don't forget to like and subscribe. I appreciate your support. Peace out.